Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to Divinity Original Sin 2 on the Xbox One X. This is part 2 of the Let's Play, however part 1 was done on the demo of this game, which was a few months back. I have played the game again off camera from the beginning, well that's not technically true. I did record it as a part 1B or a part 1 alt. I may well post it up, but I basically did the beginning of the game again because we wanted to do it on a slightly harder difficulty classic mode we've, we've gone for, which is the second one up, instead of story mode, which is where I started. Uh, I'm exactly the same character. We are starting in exactly the same place. I think I'd literally ran up this path at the end of the other playthrough for part one that I'd done. So we have just come off of the ship and with the same character, with all the same attributes and all the same uh, the same bow. The only thing would be a few pickups that are different, that's all. So let's crack straight in. As I say, I may well... Uh, sure, why not? Pick up a wee shell, why don't we? I may well post up the other part one that I did. But I'm not sure that anyone would want to see it, really. Let me know if you do, or I may well post this up at the same time as the part one. I think we may have talked to a few of these people in the original part one, but I need to do it again. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to elves. Well, that's nice. Ask him why not. Um, well, elves eat people and their pets. Elves don't know the alphabet. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, chuckle, tell him he's heard mostly wrong. You'd never eat a pet and you'd only eat a person if they asked you to. Uh, smile, you know you're kind of considered cannibals, but you didn't know Illiterate had joined the list. Chant an Elvis children's song about a foolish human who tried to fight the sea. Uh, chuckle. The child's eyes grow wide. People ask you to eat them? <laughs> Tell the child you can't explain an eon of Elvish culture to him now. Nod. It's how elves share memories. Really? Neat. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Say you must be or you wouldn't be here. Ask if he thinks you look like a sorcerer. Nod you are. And by the looks of that collar around his neck, so is he. The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye and looks at himself again. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Tell him they may well be wrong and crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island, but it's a lot nicer out here than inside. Uh, ask him if his parents know where he is. They're gone now. The Magisters took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting for me back at home. Say it isn't safe out here. Your ship was attacked by a void woken not far off the shore. But you didn't die. Ask him why he doesn't seem scared. Yes, I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. Say you survived the void walk and attack by the skin of your teeth. He should really find somewhere else to go. Safer to go. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. Fair enough. What the hell do I know, eh? I'm just a grunt. Right. Look how beautiful it is, people. It's gorgeous. Bowstring? Sure, why not? It's broken. Ancient statue of Bracchus Rex. Well, we remember him well from the first game. I thought the Order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. I think we went down the side last time. Let's just go up here. The path is blockhead.
just going to pick up some random objects as we go just to see what it might do for crafting or what have you. Void Woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they've made it to shore. Ah, that's what it is. So the left stick lets you go into sort of mouse mode. Um, I was looking for the crouch button actually there. There we go. Sneaking. <laughs> Leather scraps, why not? Can't see us, can they? If we're not moving. Let's see what we get if we surprise attack them then. Out of target. Fair enough. Level up, people. Easy. I'll try to hang on to the sort of the better stuff. For slightly tougher enemies. You gained a level up. Bring up your panel to keep those selection radial and select blah. They disappear quite quickly, those old uh, instructions. Drowned and Ooh, hello. Woken. Oh, health potion. Wondering which order. You found magic scroll with it, you can cast spells you haven't learnt yet. Seem reasonable. There was a few people asking whether or not this game is in 60 frames per second. I haven't seen any specs or stats as to whether or not it is, but I can tell you from playing it, it doesn't feel like it. Um, it feels like a, it feels like 30 to me. But for this type of game, really don't care that it's not 60 frames per second. I'd rather have more gorgeousness than be worried about 60 frames per second. It's not like you need to swing the camera around, you know, whipping it around all over the place like you do some sort of third first person normal view. I mean, there is. Let's just have a quick look, actually. Um, check there's no graphical options, but... Difficulty... Oh, you can change the difficulty, actually, in-game. I was curious about that. Auto saves enabled. Show subtitles. Tutorial boxes. Highlights. Combat. Panning speed. There is a panning speed and that's about it. It's 
It's quite a lot of options there, actually, but nothing to do with... Uh, nothing to do with the quality of the images, which you sometimes get in a lot of games now, especially ones that have come from PC. Nope, not seeing any, any changes there. But it's panning gorgeously, and it's, uh, it's looking absolutely stunning. So I wouldn't be worried about 60 frames per second, certainly not in a game like this. Used to read and learn about crafting. Really? Already? Pick up and add to wares. Read. A word of advice to boldly armed. Tie your knife or shiv. Uh, take What? Tie your knife or shiv, if that's all you have, to a stick or a branch. Now you've got a sword of sorts. Seems reasonable. Two new recipes. Nice. So if we now go to crafting and Not quite. I'm not figuring out this top menu at all. It's R B and L B at the crafting section. Combine runes, recipes. So it's the one in the centre that's the one. I think it's highlighting it in white. It's just very hard to see it. Right here we go. Knife on a stick. So there we go, so we've picked up our 20 twing with a string, nice. So that's uh twig with a string, sorry. So that's the bow we're using by the looks of it. I think we've already got one. Empty bottle and Belatus for minor finesse potion. And fire arrows we can make by the looks of it. Any arrow or shaft and a fire arrow head. Short stick and bowstring, yeah. So I think we'll keep picking up some bits as we go because we're obviously able to do some quick saving, I think. Huh, nice. I did love the way the original game, I probably said this in the part one, but the original game, the way it uses the elements. Hey, there's our dude. The, he was the annoying one, wasn't he? Wanted you to be a servant. Yep. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red colour. Could he be. Yes, you recognise him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Yes, the testicles of the deep were particularly. Um, I mean, I'm never going to ingrain them out of my mind. Of it. <laughs> Greet him heartily and say you're glad to see he survived the shipwreck. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer. Or a duelist. You lock eyes with his. Two smouldering embers that sizzle your very soul. I did survive, yes. And chances are I wouldn't have had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful hole. You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Tell him you were glad to be of help. Doesn't do to stand idly by when people are in danger. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? <laughs> now then, if there's nothing further... Well, I'd want you to fight with me, if that's okay. Ask what he's doing here, standing on that rock. I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me. 
What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Say that you can see memories, childhood days spent in the sun. Say that as of a last uh, say that as of last night you see a kraken infested wasteland you never want to go near again. Uh, memories, I think. Memories. Quite so. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Ask what he means by lost, exactly. What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean just what I say. I had a very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? Uh, shake your head. You've no idea who he is. Not enthusiastically. Of course, I, of course you do. You recall now that he's that famous uh, king. <laughs> Noble. Smack your forehead. Of course, every blue blood knows the Red Prince. The very same. I am the Red Prince. The all-conqueror. The world tamer. The spouse of the sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. <laughs> The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Invite him to travel with you. Maybe you can even help him with his throne, get his throne back. Mm -hmm. Say that you too have, have this and that sort out to talk. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Start again. Say that you too have this and that to sort out. He's welcome to tag along if he wants. Say it's been absolutely riveting, but your best dash. Invite him to travel with you. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship after all. Fine. I accept. Good man. Or lizard. On one condition. Oh, here we go. I'm not cooking your dinner and bringing your socks in the morning. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Promise. Jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? I prefer the perfection of the blade myself, but I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic. Um, say that a fighter sounds perfect, he should stay true to his vocation. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So you can, yeah, that's pretty good. So you can kind of give them a vocation if you want to mix up the party a bit. That's quite good because if it does that with every character, you're not you're not dropping characters just because of what they are. Like you don't want three mages, but you like the character, so you can kind of make them into something else, which is quite cool. However, we're a bow person, so a fighter sounds perfect. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. That settles it. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Let us go, good now, sir. Now, away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, milord. Milord. <laughs> I'm going with milord. It's always been one of my favourites. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Very good. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. 
So, without further ado, let us be off. Yes, Millard. Switching party members. Hold LT to use the left stick to highlight the party member you want to control. Remember that you can also switch party members in, cer in certain screens like the inventory. All right, okay. Understood. Wow, check that out. Awesome. <laughs> Good out. Right. We have the beginnings of a party, people. How exciting. How exciting. Uh, I, yeah. I wasn't sure I came up this path. Just have a quick look. Can't remember if I took the low road or the high road there. Short memory. No surprise there. I think we will have a quick save though. In fact, it might be worth having a proper save as it happens. Nice quick saving people, that's what we like. Straight back into the game. That was the rock he was on. Oh, hello. A black cat. Hello, kitty. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Uh, yeah, I think there's a perk for talking to cats, isn't there? The cat's eyes are clouded and grey. Its eyes clear. No. I don't think either of us could have the perk then, if that's the case. We have a yellow marker here, though. Is that another person? Yar. Never. Hey, Mister, it's a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? Yep. I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. All right, it's a little girl from the the boat that asked you to save folk. Well, the cat seems to be following us, isn't it? Well, we'll just leave the girl wandering around on her. A desert island with no protection whatsoever. She'd probably turn out to be a mad sorceress. Right, there's a whole bunch of things up here. Right, okay, let's, before we go up there, that looks like it might be a villagey type place. Let's just have a quick... Meander. Something up there as well, isn't there? Up, up, up the stairs we go. Well, that's handy. Nice. Heal me up, buttercup. Nice. Skull. For a skull this small, it still oozes sadness. Magical potential. Nice. Why not? Oh, shovels are always handy. Thank you. You found a shovel. If you find a suspicious looking mound, you may be able to dig something up. Lovely. Campfire apple. Thank you. Campfire got a purpose. Ah, very good. Well, the cat seems to have taken a liking to, isn't it? 
There's bound to be a story there, people. Oh, hello. It does actually look like you can fall off of there. No, no, you can't. You can't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm basically going round the the little radio menu, uh, radio map at the top right, where it's black, is where we've not been. So that's how I'm following myself around here. this I found something world secrets keep an eye out for secret passages Rivalon is full of hidden levers 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 if you're American levers if you're not <laughs> pressure plates and mysterious hatches try walking through the hanging vines something hidden has been revealed the higher your wits the more likely you are to reveal traps and secrets Well, it looks like it's here, actually, doesn't it? Ooh, check that out, eh? Hidden alcove. How cool is that? I wonder where this leads. I know, right? Dude, there's another guy there. No, I didn't want to do that. God's sake. Well, it's a news barrel as it happens. Might be Andy in a fight. You walk up to a skeleton unlike any you have ever seen before. His skull seems to be carved into intricate patterns with a gemstone sitting in the middle of his forehead. Approaching, you hear a profane rumble from the undead beast. Bugger. <laughs> How on earth am I supposed to... Oh, perhaps... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation! That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Cough politely, curious to ask what he's doing. Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Admit that you're surprised to find him here. Why did he head for a prison island? Ask what his business is with the body. Nod toward the corpse. Anything valuable? Tell him he shouldn't hang around here too long. It doesn't seem so. Admit you're surprised to see him here. It seems the human that stole my mask was rather more resourceful than I gave her credit for. I chased her here, but she rather seems to have given me the slip. Thus... He turns back to the body, prodding at its face cautiously. Ask what he's doing with the body. Why, its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. Lovely. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Ask why he needs him to make a mask. Because my own was stolen from me. And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal. Oh, get away, monster! Hide the children! Oh. You are simple beasts. And you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land... I will need a mask to disguise my features. Tell him that he's washed up on the shores of Fort Joy. This is a prison. He's not traversing anything. Oh, don't be ridiculous. 
I have important things to do on Reaper's Coast. I cannot simply sit about waiting for the rest of you to die so I may continue my business in peace. No, I may be an Eternal, but my patience has its limits. Indeed, I may be the only Eternal. My people seem rather absent. At least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. An Eternal? What's that? A cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Ask why he's still here if his people have vanished. Where does he think his people are? In some other realm? It sounds like he needs a companion. Ask if he'd like to travel with you. Might be worth a go. I'm assuming we can drop people whenever we like. Um... I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. I thought so. Nod, it could work out well for the both of us, sir. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality, but being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? Well, assure him that a wizard suits you perfectly well, sir. I could do that with one hand behind my spine. I bet. Now, what shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. Indeed, that settles it. Splendid. Very what, what? Well. Let's be off. As you say. Excellent, a party of three. I'm not sure why we've got bedrolls in the main menu down at the bottom there. Might get those out of there if we can. Right, we have a party of three. Poisoned? The feck? Oh, was it the body that was poisoned? Bloody useless, wasn't it? I'm going to hope that wears off soon enough. Well, I seem to not... Be oh, there we go. That's it now. So bloody gorgeous, this game. Wow. Very nice indeed. Uh, avoid the body. Uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> What's that all about? Right, hang on, let's try something here. Right, well, he's got... Well, see, that's a scroll. Ignition, there we go. Blimey. I'm just trying to see if it gets rid of the poison permanently. Does seem to. Physical armor gloves, thank you. Hopefully a lot of this loot we pick up will be useful. But we'll soon find out.
Can that all there be in the hidden cove? Or alcove? There must be a better place than here to put on your armour. Oh yeah, there is. Oh no, it was because I got confused about where the weapons went. That was what it was. Right, that was all in part one that you probably haven't seen. Alternate part one. That's got a little green eye symbol on it, hasn't it? I wonder if those items that I picked up weren't for this character then. Oh, there they are. Nice. Bit, bit of extra physical. Two physical armour, so... not overly sure how these guys are using the magics if they've got these source things on but anyway there seems to be a slight plot hole there somewhere <laughs> we're not supposed to not be able to do that Right, let's go and see what's going on up here then. Please. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Make yourself small. You'd rather not get noticed now. Step forward, saying this is injustice at its best and... But at its base... Uh, at, its, at best and base cruelty at worst. Shout what whether she's... Uh, what? Shout that whether she's telling the truth or lies. You won't find out by mutilating her. Think to yourself that this Alexander seems the type to roll over for a compliment. Could be worth remembering. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness? I believe we're done here. Whoa. What a waste. She's dead. Count will be needed elsewhere. Uh, when your party members have exclamation marks above their heads, highlight them and press A. Seemed reasonable. I think that was in the last one as well. The cat's eyes are clouded. Oh, for the love of God, cat, stay out of the way. <laughs> The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. Harsh times require harsh measures. The cruelty of it makes me sick. There's one Magister fewer of us to worry about here. Yeah. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. In dialogues concerning the entire party, characters that are not avatars will automatically give their own answers. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. 
Okay, yeah, we were down there before, weren't we? We were going to come up. So let us just have a little wander down here before we go into the main gate. Where is he? There's a ladder here as well. Right. Oh, it's the little girl. So we've already been down that bit. Well, that was one way in without going through the main gate. Is he? Who? Who are you looking for? You there, elf? I'm looking for an inmate. A smallish man, thick spectacles, prone to somewhat eccentric chatter. He wears a large bronze pendant with a dragon stamped into it. Have you seen him? I have not. Useless. No. It is a very important matter that I locate this Migo. Tell me if you hear mention of him. Right you are, because I do all things for Magisters. Not. She's gone, Father. That's it. I call call. Hey out. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Accept the invitation. Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Uh, play your hand. Why the hand, Freshy? Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee then. Furrow your brow and say that's impossible. He's clearly cheating. Blaming a bloke you just met for your misfortune, are ya? Ease off. Or I'll go ahead and double what you owe. Tell him you're going to walk away and he's not going to stop you. Say no one mentioned having to pay to stay here. Mention he'd gain more from having you and your connections as allies. Don't think your connections will get here in time to save you if you don't pay up now. Say you won't hand over what's rightfully yours. Swear you have nothing of value on your person. I won't hand over what's rightfully mine. About that, Freshy. Fight! Well, I'm far too close to this fight, aren't I? Let's jump back a little bit here. That was a bit harsh, don't you think? Right, I'm not overly sure what I'm doing. Oh, hello, he's a bit of a... Battle Stomp. Pretty sure that'll hit my own people, though, innit? Bouncing shield. Could be in a little bit of bother here, people. <laughs> I'm fast on fire and I've no water that I'm aware of. Right, who am I on here? Oh, 
will think I'm dead. Main character's down anyway. How are these two still? How are these all still standing? Breathe flames in a cone, dealing six to seven damage and leaving fire surface behind. Provides armor. Oh, removes burning. Yeah, eat that. Our Father, who presideth over us all. Oh, I see what he's doing. Oh, okay. Fortify seems to work pretty well. Bloody hell, there's still the guy at the top. Can't say I'm going to survive this, but anyway. Really? <laughs> flee by using the flea skill, really? got one character still up. I'm pretty sure I've got no way of uh... Right, yeah, the, the problem is you can't just uh, bring people back to life. You need to get a scroll, the don't you? Eyes are clouded and it appears... So, it could be that we need to... If you take a, if you take or touch property that isn't yours, beware the consequences. Owners will develop negative attitudes toward you, and they will call the guards or even attack you if too far. Different people have different reactions. Hey. 
resurrection scroll, is it? Bane or Dasto? Yeah, Dasto. Choose a destination. Okay, this is probably a bit of a waste, but uh, if it's anything like the other get, mind you, they've all got one each. Well, lesson learned. <laughs> this is going to be a long game if I uh, do fights like that, people. Father, who presideth over us all. I think what we'll do is we'll try and find a... Uh... Ah, mattress. Here we go. At least got our health back up. It's a bit, um, it's a little bit frustrating. You got to do that per character. I'm wondering if I've actually. <laughs> Killed some characters that could have been quite useful in that game, or if they were just randoms. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. Right, well, I've got a health back up. Greetings, child. You must be very far from your homelands indeed. Hurts to be so far from your loved ones, eh? I know the feeling. Place a hand on his shoulder. His are the first gentle words you've heard for some time. Troubles me to hear that. Now the divine has gone, our world's duller, darker than ever before. When he comes back, he'll bring a gentler world with him. Nice view from up here, look. Our Father, who presideth over us all. Oh, that music, people. It's gorgeous. Alright, tell you what we'll do. Let's go... Down the ladder and in the main gate. See what we get. Oh, hello. Take a bit of that action. Is there a take all button? Yeah, it's Y, isn't it? Press Y to open your hotbar. Move the cursor to an empty slot and hit X. Seems reasonable. Right, well, I think 
probably this is an ideal place to wrap up this part two and I will crack into a part three. It's probably a good place to do it as we're about to walk into the main gates of this area. Loads of folks to talk to by the looks of those little yellow dots on the top right hand side of the screen. Uh, I've really enjoyed that. Really, really good indeed. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Divinity Original Sin 2 on the Xbox One X. And I shall see you in part three very soon. Take it easy, folks. Bye.